So Kerry, um, good to see you back here in Start uh, and Concord for the uh, for the win against Brazil. You at once to the quarterfinal. Uh, first of all, looks like you are back after a not so good World Championship. Oh man, you know, last week in Hamburg was just really hard for Brooke and I. You know, sometimes out of nowhere a tough tournament comes comes up and. Um, it was so confusing last week. <laughs> you know, we, we felt like we had earned confidence and we earned the right to play well um, on such a fun stage in Hamburg, and we played just very poorly. And we played really, I think, nervous and skittish and disconnected. But the beautiful thing about Brooke and I, when we go through hard times, we really do come together and we talk and we communicate and we know what we want to feel like. And then we put all of our energy, all of our focus toward playing better the next time. And so far, it's been great here in Stad. I already know that this is one of your uh, most uh, loved places. So it's your, when I'm not totally wrong, your 15th, uh, par uh, 15th time you're, you're playing here. And it's the 20th anniversary of the whole tournament. So say a, a few words about Stad and what it means to you. I have loved Stad from the very first moment I came here in 2001 with Misty. Um, this place is just heaven on earth to me. It reminds me of where I grew up in Northern California, but in Switzerland. And this has become a home away from home for me. With regard to beach volleyball, it's incredible to play the best teams in the world in the Alps. It's just nuts and such a beautiful village. Um, so this place means a lot to me. We have very dear friends, Michael and Christina Lemos, who come visit every year and they are family now. So that makes it special as well. The cowbell is something that I dream of. <laughs> And I want another one this year. You know, Brooke has never won one. It's been a couple years since I've won. And um, tomorrow we play a team against USA to make it to Sunday. And, you know, we want to, you know, play one point at a time, one game at a time. And we believe it's possible because I want a cowbell so bad. And you brought your whole family and parents, when I'm not yeah. wrong, uh, uh, all with you. So um, for sure, uh, this is nice. But um, how do you manage to... to <laughs> to to fo yeah to focus and care about all the things. I think your husband is doing a great job, but we just saw that you have been asked if uh, there is something to eat tonight. <laughs> Yeah, we have to feed our children, yes. Yeah, um, yeah you know, it's really fun. It, it feels like, I mean, every day at home I train really hard and I'm a mommy and I do both. And I miss it when I'm on the road by myself and my heart just aches and it hurts every day, even though I love my job. So it's beautiful to have my family here. And without my husband, it's not possible. He, Casey is incredible. And he has so much love for life and love for our family and love for my dreams. So it makes it possible. This morning we played baseball on the lawn at the Bellevue Hotel and it was so fun. And then I told my husband I need two hours to focus and I watched video and I meditated and I did my thing and then I come and play. So it really feels like the routine I have at home. Um, it's a grand slam and things are very important, but I think it helps me to focus and to relax a little bit. Uh, all the best and I hope we talk uh, tomorrow and with the cowboy deal. Yes.